you don't know. Okay, so this is the um, the RMF blender that we've been discussing. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is electrically um, what was missing. Um, pointing here, Silvio, uh, MP2 is an overload that was missing. Um, so we popped in an overload here. Um, when we connect all the wires, there's this uh, small red wire that we have disconnected. Um, we are blowing um, this uh, Allen Bradley uh, fuse here. Um, so we've not come to figure out exactly what's going on. There's either a short somewhere or maybe the component in the contactor or elsewhere just needs to be uh, replaced. So um, the machine runs well, functions well otherwise. All the doors open and close, which we'll show you. Uh, we'll run both motors for you, but currently um, that is uh, the, the main issue. Um, obviously the panel needs some cleaning up here to be done as well. Uh, so Silvio, if you could first um, open and close the uh, discharge doors for me so I could get that on video. And then if you could close them for me as well. And these are all um, uh, electric. Um, and then the main lid here, please, Silvio. And then if you could open that main lid again. Sorry, we had to give it a little bit more air in the system here. The PSI was a little low. So here's that lid opening back up. All right, and I think uh, Silvio will keep it uh, open here to uh, run both sides if you don't mind. Um, so which side uh, runs here? Can you go ahead and get her started, please? Okay, so we're pushing the contactor in on one side here, and uh, we have the other side running. So Silvio, can you just remove the con uh, un depress the contactor real quickly? So uh, from the discharge side of the blender, it's the left shaft that uh, needs electrically the work. And go ahead and run it again, Silvio. rubbing, no scoring on the inside at all, everything looks nice, the paddles look nice, nothing's bent up at all. Can we uh, change direction, Silvio? So this is running in the opposite direction now. So this is a discharge, right? Can you open up the discharge doors? Bear with me one second here. Get you another angle. I do notice that the discharge doors, they do need new seals installed. Bearings spinning nice. Silvio, can I squeeze by you? This one. Here's the up and close on the motors. These rear panels, they're interlocked here at the bottom, so I can't run them for you at the moment. And 
And then we do also have, there's um, an exhaust port that mounts up to here. Uh, it was removed prior to shipment, so that'll have to be welded back in place. We don't really touch any CO2 related stuff. Uh, so currently these ports are disconnected. Those will have to be reconnected. Um, but overall everything looks really nice. Uh, all stainless cylinders. One motor's been replaced to all stainless. And I'll show you the video just back here in the panel here real quickly. Thank you, Sylvia.